Hello guys, Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I have a brand new OLED monitor from BenQ. This is the EX480UZ. It features 4K 120Hz of refresh rate on a beautiful OLED display. I have mostly used this for gaming, but I also have used this for movies, which look amazing. I also have the C1 OLED from LG, which is one of the best gaming TVs out there. But how does it compare to BenQ's OLED monitor? Those are some of the questions that I'm going to answer in this video, so be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'm Jolster, and let's do this! The monitor comes very well packaged, it is very well protected. The setup is super easy, there are only 4 screws to install the base, and after that the leg can be attached with your hand. The I.O. ports are located here at the bottom, and there is a small 10 watt subwoofer as well. The monitor has a 2.1 speaker system powered by Trevolo that sounds very good, and I will show you that in just a little bit more. This is from the Mobius Gaming Monitor lineup from BenQ, so it has the same DNA design as other Mobius monitors with a gunmetal color finish and four small LEDs in the back which look very very cool, and you can also control them in the menus. On the side we have two HDMI 2.1 ports, one DisplayPort 1.4, a couple USB ports, a USB Type-C with 90 watt power delivery, a USB Type-B for KVM feature, SPDF and headphone jack for audio. In the box we have USB Type-A to Type-B cable, USB Type-C, power cord, display port, HDMI 2.1 cable, and the handy remote control in the rear cover. The monitor display is very thin from the top, but the majority of the body is robust, especially at the bottom where all the components are located. It is a bit heavy, it weighs around 42 pounds or 19 kilos, and the stand can only tilt the monitor just a little bit. You can also wall mount the monitor with the included VESA mount, and it has a 200 by 200 pattern, so yes, you can wall mount this huge monitor. Another thing I noticed is that there is no cable management. It will be nice to have some cable management just for a cleaner setup. Maybe some clips to hold the cables. That would be a nice touch. The controller is really nice addition that BenQ includes in some of their monitors. It's very small, very easy to use, but very handy to access all the settings on the go. So far I've been enjoying the monitor for gaming. I connected the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 and everything looks fantastic. You have the option to play at 1440p or 4K 120Hz of refresh rate and we get all the green check marks except for Dolby Vision. There's also FreeSync Premium and HDMI VRR available that works with the Xbox and PS5. The picture quality is amazing. This is an OLED monitor with deep black levels and colors look vibrant at any angle. I'm a big fan of OLED TVs. I have reviewed many OLEDs from LG, Sony, Samsung, Vizio, and I just can't get over the amazing picture they offer. It also has HDR support, and BenQ includes their own HDRI feature, which automatically optimizes image color and clarity details and improves contrast to color saturation by adapting picture to ambient light. You also have access to many picture settings, for example adjusting shadow and brightness details through light tuner, color vibrancy, sharpness. If you want to know more on the settings that I'm using for the best picture possible, I have a dedicated video which will leave right here on top. I also use this monitor to watch movies and videos and the picture looks beautiful. I love the inky black and vibrant colors, there is no blooming or light plate issues, just a beautiful picture at any angle. Now even though there is no motion enhancements on this monitor, everything looks sharp and smooth. The cinema option adds a warm tone to the picture which is what I like when watching movies. I also love the sound on BenQ's monitor. I think BenQ has the best speaker setup for monitors. There are two front facing speakers and a 10 watt subwoofer facing down and creates this rich immersive environment. So whether you're gaming or watching movie, you won't be disappointed with the sound. Shoot. Shoot. 
Now this is a 48 inch display and personally I think this is too big for a monitor. Now for this BenQ has included different display size options like 22 inch, 24, 27 or even 32 inches. Now I think this is great if you're sitting too close to the monitor. I personally prefer a 32 inch size. I think it's a sweet size or the perfect size for a monitor. But I can also tell you that I've been using this 48 inch and I'm kind of getting used to this. It's just a matter of time. And also if you have the space to adapt to this huge monitor. Now using this size for a monitor makes it easier to read text and surf the web. Everything is just bigger and the picture is sharp at 4K resolution. I also noticed how bright it can get. It is rated at 450 nits of brightness, but using a widescreen can get very bright. Now for this I use BenQ's Brightness Intelligence Plus feature, which can control brightness depending on ambient light while maintaining true color saturation. It is a really nice feature when using this monitor for productivity purposes. Now one concern I have is permanent screen burn problems since this is an OLED display. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have the same concern, especially since we're using this as a monitor and the chances of screen burn are highly increased. Now, luckily, BenQ include a features to prevent this from happening. There is the orbit mode, which all its stress is shifted every minute to reduce wear and tear. There's also the off RS mode, which every four hours of usage, the monitor would automatically turn this feature on once the display is off. And you can also run this function manually and it takes around 10 minutes. And finally, we also have the JB mode, which runs automatically every 1500 hours of, of usage, or you can run it manually and it takes around two minutes. Now keep in mind that all these features run automatically and they're turned on by default to prevent permanent screen damage to the monitor. So it's safe to say that at least you're going to be protected from preventing screen burn or permanent damage to your screen. Okay, so now how does it compare to the C1 or C2 OLED? Which one is the best option for you? The first thing I notice is the anti-glare coating the BenQ monitor has. This greatly reduces light reflection. So this is great if you have it next to a window or there's some unavoidable ambient lights, but this also affects contrast and black levels. I don't get the same inky blacks as I get it with the C1 OLED. So even though the C1 looks like a black mirror with a glossy coating, I still love how sharp and vibrant the picture looks and blacks are inky black and with the infinite contrast highlights in HDR looks amazing. So personally, I still prefer the glossy finish from the C1 OLED. Another difference is the IO ports. If you're looking for a dedicated monitor for your PC and you will probably prefer to use DisplayPort, which can only be found on the BenQ OLED monitor. Also including other ports like USB Type-C with power delivery and a USB Type-B for KVM switch option. Now if you have a newer video card that supports HDMI 2.1, well then the C1 has 4 HDMI 2.1 ports including EARC for high resolution audio for Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision support since it's more a, of a dedicated TV. Another big factor, and this is probably like the biggest decision making, is the price. The C2 OLED 48 inch, which is the newest version available right now, sells for around less than $1,000, while the 48 inch version OLED from BenQ Monitor sells for around $1,500 on their website. I'm going to leave a link in the description of the video if you guys are interested in buying one. So that is a big chunk of money, $500 to me is a lot of money, considering that the C2 OLED does have other features like Dolby Atmos support, Dolby Vision support, and the fact that you can also use it as a TV, it has great gaming features. But if you're looking for a dedicated monitor that has display port, that has USB Type-C port as well, US, other USB ports, and also KVM for option, for your PC, well then, the BenQ OLED monitor is really good choice. I just wish the price was a little bit more affordable than $1,500, but that is just my opinion. 
Let me know what do you guys think about this in the comment section. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys right there in the comment section. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for spending some time watching this video. Leave a like in the, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'm Joster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out!